Hey there and welcome back. I'm Kristen Galloway, a licensed occupational therapist and certified dementia care specialist. Today I'm going to talk about visual aids or visual supports. Um, it's something that we use in the world of occupational therapy all the time, but it's a really simple strategy that you can use to help um, a person with dementia feel more oriented, um, more calm and more safe, um, and to give them a sense of independence, self-esteem, um, and autonomy um, for being able to do things without having to ask for assistance or direction. So let's dive right in. There's several different kinds of visual aids that can be used. Um, the first one is just a really simple um, system of labeling, okay? So we can label drawers um, where things are kind of hidden out of, out of um, eyesight, label cabinets in the kitchen. Um, it helps with organization, but it also helps um, for the person to be oriented to where something is kept um, or stored when it's not in use, um, rather than having things out in the open where they can see them, which creates a lot of clutter and confusion. Um, labeling those items, uh, the drawers and the cabinets will be super helpful for them to be able to find the things when they need them. Um, another strategy that can be used for labeling um, is, I'm gonna give an example. So for example, someone who's having trouble with continence. Um, it could be um, a physiological problem, but it could just be a problem maybe where they don't remember where the restroom is. Um, um, that happens a lot in mild dementia, uh, mild cognitive decline. Um, and so sometimes just labeling the, the, the door, putting a picture of you know, the toilet and the word you know, bathroom or restroom on um, a piece of paper and hanging it on the door can be super helpful. Um, or having the door left open. Again, another visual aid, we don't have to label it, but we can just leave the door open so that they can see that that is actually the bathroom. Those kind of things can be super helpful for someone with dementia. They tend to respond really well to visual supports, more so um, even than auditory or verbal, um, verbal aids. So um, labeling things is really um, very basic and super helpful for individuals with dementia for orientation um, and to increase independence. Um, the second type of visual aid that we can use is um, what I like to call um, a daily schedule or um, just a reminder list. So you can do it on a whiteboard or just a piece of paper. Whiteboards are nice because, of course, they're reusable. Um, this one just has the day and date on it. Um, a general daily schedule with, you know, doctor's appointment or a visit, some kind of special event, and then just encouraging words at the bottom, we love you. Um, just, again, keeping this in a central location so where they pass by often. Um, it can be in the kitchen, on the counter, you know, where they walk by to get a drink of water or, you know, where meals are, are made and served. Um, can be on a bedside table or um, next to their favorite chair or couch um, where they're going to hang out and watch TV or, um, you know, just hang out during the day. So this is just needs to be in a high profile, highly visible area um, that is like a high traffic area where they're going to see it a lot. Um, and this will help with orientation. Um, it can help with repetitive questioning because, you know, again, they are able to independently uh, view this and know kind of what's going on for that day. Um, easy to update as well. Um, the next kind of um, visual schedule that we can use is just a simple day clock, right? So this has um, helps with visual orientation by showing the day, date, um, time of day. Um, this can be programmed with um, medication reminders to help with independence with that task. Um, so it'll set, sound an alarm and show on the screen, you know, take your medication. It can, this particular clock can be customized. You could even put in the types of medications that need to be taken at that specific time. Um, so this one's a little bit um, more customizable than some of the other models. And I'll put a link to this um, clock in the description of the video if you're interested in checking it out. Um, but that's a, that's a great way, again, to have a visual support, um, and that one has auditory cues as well um, that can help to orient the person and help them be able to do a task independently that maybe they couldn't do without that additional support. Um, but again, it makes the task more independent for them because they don't have to rely on someone else to cue them or tell them to do it. This is kind of an inanimate object, if you will, these that are doing the reminding um, versus a caregiver, which sometimes can create... Um, a little bit of contention or a little bit of resentment. Um, so the last uh, visual aid that I'm going to go over, and there are certainly other options that you can try, but the last one I'm going to go over today on this video um, is called a, um, a visual aid or a visual sequence. And so this particular one I made up, I'm going to take it out because I know it's hard to see with the glare. 
I have it in a sheet protector, um, which is great to keep it dry. I also recommend laminating these if they're going to be in the bathroom or kitchen area, somewhere they can get um, wet um, to protect it. This I just printed up. It's a, it's, this one is for washing hands. Um, and it's just a basic sequence, right? So we have number one, just a few words to describe what's in the task, and then a photograph of the task. So turn on the tap, dispense the soap. So we just go through the task because a lot of times, even in mild dementia, um, individuals will get, um, have a really difficult time with sequencing an event. And so um, a task, rather sequencing a task. So making coffee or you know washing their hands, these simple daily tasks um, become very difficult for them because of the need to do the steps in order. And so having a schedule like this will help with sequencing. It's, it's a, um, supports them to be independent and still be able to continue to do this task without feeling like they're getting frustrated or agitated. Um, all of these visual um, aids or visual supports can help reduce agitation, frustration, anxiety, because again, they support the person to be able to do common everyday tasks without having to ask for assistance and without um, risk of failure, right? So these set them up for success, um, which just increases mood, um, it increases calm, it increases relaxation because they're able to do a task and do it successfully on their own without assistance. So again, this one's for washing hands. You could make one for uh, making a cup of coffee or tea. Um, really, the sky's the limit. Um, brushing teeth, any, any tasks that fits become a little bit too complex or a little bit too difficult, and they just need just a little bit of support to help get them through that task. So um, I will happily email you a copy of this if you would like to um, click the link in the video description and um, sign up for my, my newsletter. I will happily email you a copy of this um, when you register for that. Um, and if you have any questions, drop me a message in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content and found it useful and subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified when I produce future videos. Thanks so much for watching today. All my best.